Alright guys, Alan Wake walkthrough part 14. Let me plug in the charger really quick and then we'll start. Okay. So this is right when we make it to the radio station. That's where we last left off. Well, they're trying to sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Pull your jets, Nightingale. We got them. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book, The Sudden Stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. real good, didn't I? I have to check how much time we have. Okay, we're only at four minutes. We're good. Okay, so the darkness tells all. It's basically what this game is trying to tell you is the darkness tells you all. Throw a flashbang in here. Throw a flare and then two flashbacks. That'll eliminate every little piece of darkness right there. Throw another. 
flashbang. Pop off those guys. I think one of them, is, uh, none of them are still standing. All right. Okay, so now what you got to do is you got to head to the train depot. From the train depot, you have to go to the coal mine. And then from the coal mine, you have to go to Cauldron Lake. So pretty much we're... We're wrapping the game up, not very fast, but we're wrapping the game up slowly. I want to finish it tonight for you guys so I can A, get the walkthrough done, and B, get my achievement for beating it on the hard difficulty. Because I have to take it back tomorrow. somehow but she had called me I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore I hoped I could find a car from there I do believe this parts all poltergeist objects but I have died a couple times here before I'm gonna try to give you guys a good strategy to make it past this I do believe flashbangs will work on poltergeisted objects What I'm gonna hope to do is throw a flashbang and take one out. And it was taking over everything in the Eight minutes here, and we're almost to the train depot now. Now, you can take the time to read the manuscript, so you can beat the game and then go read them from the main menu. Do what you prefer. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. So now we've made it to the train depot and the next part we're doing is getting a car. Okay, so always with these scenarios, go for the smaller ones first. Try to avoid getting cornered by these big guys. Just run, outrun them, flash them all. I'm going to end this video right here. Always remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for the best videos. So, 